It's been a long time coming, but finally it's time to go balls deep on Titan once again with Deputy Commander Sloan in Season of the Deep. Centrifuge is the newest exotic and combined with this newly updated sandbox, new exotic armour changes and refreshed top tier seasonal mods, this new Season 21 exotic build will electrify everything. You can get yours right now from the Season Pass, plus you can also grab the catalyst for it from Banshee in the Tower. It definitely lives up to the gone fishing theme with its rustic look like it's been found on an abandoned and shipwreck. It's the first ever true arc energy auto rifle and fires at 450 RPM putting it in the precision frame archetype. Straight out of the box it has some perfect arc subclass synergy which you can double down on to make it even more potent thanks to its unique overcharge capacitor perk. This one's a weird one because basically doing lots of things and stuff will build up an electrostatic charge boosting its range and reload speed. However once you do build up enough charge final blows will cause an arc explosion and at maximum charge it'll blind nearby targets. It also comes with regenerative motion which will gradually reload the weapon while sprinting. Ideally you don't want to manually reload this weapon as it will automatically lose all of its stacks of overcharge so running and gunning is the name of the game with this exotic. Centrifuge is going to be a popular contender for your loadouts this season particularly in the deep which is the new seasonal activity not to mention the newest dungeon but you can easily increase its potency even further with a bunch of new top tier armour charge mods. Auto rifle users will instantly gravitate towards the Actium War Rigs for infinite uptime and rightly so. However if you are going to build into it, I definitely look at a unique and infinite damage boosting build and nobody does this better than your Stormcaller Warlock. This exotic has great synergy with the Mantle of Battle Harmony which has seen a rework to grant a now increased 25% weapon damage boost when your super is full. And although this won't stack with Arc Weapon Surge mods anymore, it will now actually stack with the 20% from your Empowering Rift, plus it got a duration boost from 6 to now 10 seconds making it even easier to keep the damage bonus ticking along. It actually also has excellent synergy with the newest arc fragments the sparks of haste and instinct for some damage resistance whilst moving and a jolting factor for some squeaky bum time moments. You're also going to be creating a production line of orbs of power and arc traces for days with the spark of amplitude and electrostatic mind and it's going to be incredibly potent in this excellent jolting build that I've set up for you. Keep an eye on the seasonal artifact mods as you unlock them too, especially the mighty shock and awe. I'll leave the destiny item manager build link below and now that you're ready to become the god of thunder, make sure you're day one solo dungeon ready by watching this next video.